this day in show history, Dan, we were all uh, in wherever we were for Thanksgiving four years ago, Thanksgiving evening. Big game. I think it was Steelers. Steelers. Ravens. Steelers. Maybe it's Steelers. Ravens. No. I think it was the Steelers. But this came on during the third quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Gift-giving season. I need some help. Come on, DP, that's easy. Easy? Okay. Where would I find a 12-foot enclosed round trampoline? Walmart. All right, but where do I get it? Don't gain Walmart. All right, nice. But how about a Star Wars Millennium Falcon? Walmart? Okay, smart guys. So I'm thinking of a cozy yet festive garment. Like an elf theme adult sleep onesie? Walmart has it. And free shipping to the store plus new deals daily. How about a mug that says Dan Patrick's number one? Got it. When did you guys get so competent? And can we buy this stuff right now? A, we've got a lot of free time. And two, Walmart Cyber Week starts tonight. There you go, bud. Now you can focus on the things that really matter. My hair? That's uh, fantastic. Couple things to note the there. They, they ran that commercial once. It's never been <laughs> seen the light of day. One time. Ever again. It seemed like they could use it every year. Like that Chevy Chase show. He made it one episode. One episode. Uh, that was one and done. <laughs> and also, I could double check. No corporations have asked us to do another one. Correct. <laughs> that was going to be like our flow moment. Oh, we're flow. <laughs> like Dr. Galakowicz with Bud Light. <laughs> Never again. Oh, my God. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart was... This could be our where's the beef. People yeah, are going to yeah. be saying oh. Walmart everywhere. Walmart. Walmart. I don't know what happened. And I couldn't get him to just say Walmart. It had to be Walmart. Because when he stretches out his sports names, yeah. he'll overemphasize. We're all to blame, but uh, we're, we're open for business. One time. We're open for business. One time. One of them. Ran one. Walmart. Mom. It's gonna run again, right? Like, no, mom. Nope. No. That's it. Because <laughs> I didn't tape it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs>
we or no other major company has asked us. About to be the next uh, Walmart's version of Jake from State Farm. <laughs> that didn't happen. Flow. We've been like Flow. Yeah. Flow money? For progressive? Yeah. Yeah. That didn't happen. Flow continues to do it. She continues to reinvent herself. Bank and cash. Yes, she is. Yes, McLevin. I love the new progressive ad where they teach you how not to be your parents. Have you seen that? Yeah, they ran yeah. a million times last yeah. night. It's pretty funny. Are, are you like me? I don't. I forget who they're. Who's the advertiser? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I go. I don't. Is that a Geico? But somebody say, "Oh, have you seen the one where?" And I go, "Yeah, yeah." And I go, "Is that Geico?" Yeah, Paul. I, I read a New York Times piece about Geico years ago, and their strategy was make the commercials funny. Eventually, you'll you'll catch on who the brand is. But if you make them entertaining, you have a positive view of the brand, and you'll pick up the details of you know insurance is insurance. It's not insurance is not an entertaining. Yeah, product. but I don't remember who they are though. So are you doing your job if I don't know who the insurance? I'll tell you the um, what's the uh, mutual? Oh, uh, with the the Doug and Emu Limu Emu Limu. And that's not good. Doug. No. Yeah. That's not good. That, that's not not funny. Yes, McLovin. I have a dumb question that I know what your answer is. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is now in all these State Farm commercials that are really funny with Mahomes. What do Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers need to do commercials for? Mahomes just signed a $450 million contract. Shouldn't he give that commercial up to a younger quarterback who hasn't gotten paid yet? Well, State Farm doesn't look at it that way. They don't go, boy, that guy's got all this money. We should have somebody who's uh, young and up and comer. Yeah, Mahomes should pass and say, hey, you know, Kyler Murray, until you get your contract. I, I just find it funny that the, guy, the most highly paid quarterbacks get the biggest ad campaign. Okay, but at what point do you think you've made enough money? In any walk of life? $450 million? That's enough. I don't know. Ask, has Mark Cuban made enough money? Why is he working on Shark Tank? He's got enough money. He doesn't need to work. Publicity. He okay. wants to run for president. No. Oh. So on being on Shark Tank, that'll help you? Maybe. And, and, but Baker Mayfield's commercials are much funnier now that they're 7-3, and three, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And I like the one with Tebow and Kyler Murray. The, the Heisman one, I think that's good. I think that uh, Kyler Murray comes off well. Yeah, Paul. Do you think Rodgers or Mahomes have complained about the State Farm guy having bigger arms or showing off the arms mm. in front of them? He's trying to hijack mm. that commercial. Mm. Well, he's done a pretty good job there. Yes, McLeod. They got rid of that age. Well, I think they got rid of that age, the worst agent ever. Yeah, that's why I never understood. Aaron Rodgers would never have that guy as his agent because he was a buffoon. But then he would always be in those commercials. Yes, Todd. I don't understand in the Mahomes commercial what's funny about him dumping all that ketchup on his steak. I don't, I don't get that part. Why is that? Uh, why is that funny? While they're talking, he's dumping out like a whole. Well, no, he's got a whole thing about ketchup. Yeah, he's, he's that's got his a, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that seemed exaggerated to me. Yes. Well, no, no one likes ketchup that much. The joke is that it exaggerated. If he just did a little bit, then there'd be no. <laughs> no joke one would get it. No. Yes, McLovin. Headline today: He's going to put ketchup on his Thanksgiving turkey. He said that yesterday in an interview. Yeah. He's real serious about ketchup. No, this was the big deal that they talked about his love of ketchup and he puts ketchup on uh, everything. I don't think everybody knows that watching that commercial, but uh, that's that's what the joke is. Yes, Paul. And this does not play well in Kansas City, which is one of the great meat towns in America. <laughs> it would play well in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Hines. Yeah. 